She came back. So it's been almost half a year since we last talked about Bobby Althoff. At the time, she was this podcaster who seemingly came out of nowhere doing one of her first interviews with Drake, which led to her talking to Tyga, Mark Cuban, and even Offset of the Migos. Don't get me wrong, she was viral for her online activity beforehand, but just for like mommy blogger content, and with her being pretty much brand new to the interview podcasting space and landing Drake as her second guest ever, and everyone knowing that he almost never does interviews, the immediate criticism to Bobby following her overnight success was that she must be an industry plant. LeBron. Which in very simple terms means that the industry, or at least the people behind the curtain with the real power in the entertainment business, predetermined that she would be successful, and so in turn she would get opportunity. Mark Cuban. Clean your feet, dude. What the f bro? Like, I don't even know how it's possible to have were these guys mudding right before the interview opportunities that other people might have to work two decades for at the time others also noted that with her dry sarcastic brand of talking to people she was essentially buying this format from comedian funny marco who she would actually collaborate with later on and almost immediately after her 15 minutes of fame began it seemed like there would be trouble in paradise for bobby after people noticed that her and Drake would unfollow each other on Instagram, and then a couple days after that, she would delete their interview from YouTube altogether. Oh, after shit. it had gone viral and garnered millions of views in the matter of only a couple of weeks. Some people said that the feud really began after she got invited to one of Drake's concerts and acted completely unamused the entire time. And to me, this is probably the funniest <laughs> shit she's ever done. Just acting like she doesn't want to be there while Drake's saying, I tried. And obviously people know that she's trying to convey this dry, deadpan, completely unamused type of character. But with her not being very established in the industry, I think that for the masses, a lot Drake of people shows found this to be more annoying gonna say than glaze. anything else. So after coming off that run of bad publicity, she would end up interviewing Offset, and to me, this was kind of like the nail in her coffin, at least when it came to this little They locked act. in UFC 300? As Offset would come into pin this it, pin interview it, pin it. I'll watch and it right completely after. turn the tables on her, and now awkward uh, the awkward person, in turn making uh, her the one who feels very uncomfortable. You do. That's um, the question. I interview people. Why? Because I want to get to know them. Why do you want to get to know me? Um... I didn't. So she's trying to big league our guy just like she kind of did to everyone beforehand. And he really wasn't going to stand for that shit. You did. Your team reached out to mine. Don't cap. Let's not cap about that. Let's not put, let's not flex for the ground. Uh-oh. C-A-P. I honestly don't know how this came about. I'm not going to lie to you. Me so you just okay. lied? My team could have reached out to yours. I'm not going to, I don't want to make you look bad. They had to show me who Bobby was. I thought they were talking about Bobby Boucher. <laughs> He's like, they don't even know you. He's exposed in the plant in the nicest way possible. Ever heard of Offset? In the my water? Life? Yes, you have. I have not. I Googled Damn. you on the way here and I read something about you. I had to go on TikTok. I couldn't even Google Can I? you. Thank Ooh. you. <laughs> I, was, I had to go TikTok search. I couldn't Google you. Google's not there yet. You're not there yet. But you'll be there. But you're on TikTok. Ooh. I don't know why, but it seems like when you only have TikTok fame, people see it as kind of like a slight. Like, I think TikTokers think that people don't necessarily take them seriously. You got El Ego. I do think that's just kind of the nature of things when a new, like, entertainment format kind of takes off. That's the way it used to be with YouTubers and streamers. But now that those things have gone more mainstream, obviously, you know, the people in the industry get a lot more respect. And Offset would just continue to grill her up during these interviews. It was like she was one of those big pigs at a Hawaiian cookout, just slow roasting over the flame while he turned her over and over and over again. You know, he just kept thinking faster than her the entire time. That's really what it was. Like, why would you go 2000s tank with the open button up? I don't claim to be into fashion, you do. If that was the case, and you would've just came in here with a big ass hoodie on and some sweatpants, you, you really tried to, you put that together.
You gotta just love how he's flipping the tables on her. It's like she's completely stumped. She doesn't know what to say. And in that's, return, that's why I came to stream like this, to my nigga. Every single one of her comments. Yeah. Okay, what would you do differently? On your on your fit? Mm-hmm. Definitely would put a um, little moisturizer down there, <laughs> and then I would definitely. He said those ankles are ashy. Start rubbing those things together. We're about to start a fire. Yeah, it's giving. 36 year old mom you're 26 you should <laughs> so you should stay down there and not up there you feel me mm -hmm. so he would just continue to cook her <laughs> and the moment that i would say went the most viral nah, this nigga f never mind, i'm about to say some weird well is when he would actually call her an unseasoned piece of chicken in a minute she's gonna be charging 25 million an interview tell him yeah i will be tell him tell them you gotta shake my hand oh don't assume what I was gonna say. It wasn't that. You need a little bit of seasoning. Whatever you think it was, bro. You no seasoning. Dumbass, man. You like bro. A plain piece of chicken, just on the thing. You pull it off, and then you serve the dish. You need some motherfucking seasoning, man. You know what I'm saying? Just a little sprinkle. Have a great day off that. Just a little seasoning. All right, you can you can leave now. This is my hotel. I pay for this motherfucker. <laughs> you can leave now. I mean, he just straight up decimated her for about 45 minutes straight. And obviously, they are joking around a little bit. I do think that he was going to take her more seriously. Yeah, I don't think they're being that serious in all reality, guys. Like, if we're being honest, right? It was probably just, like, they're being... It's just dry humor back and forth, bro. I don't think it's a matter of them, like... Yeah, I don't take this shit too serious. Seriously in this, but once she came in and tried to make him the butt of the joke... When she came in and essentially tried to big league him, this man had to show her what was really up. And after this, her show would continue to go on to have some pretty decent success, but it does kind of appear that each interview from here on out was doing less and less views, besides this most recent one that did have a bit of a viral moment, though I do feel like that was also manufactured. Here's actually that moment I'm talking about. Oh, we seen this. I'm interviewing you today so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think that's, I think you're confusing that. Yeah, I'm not no musician. I, I make music. Just really quick, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you, you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the fuck you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I think, not what, magician. I don't think, baby, but, I don't think. Yeah, I just have a hard time believing that someone could be this obnoxiously dumb to be in the music industry or really. Yeah, look, here's what I learned in life. Every time you think that a breed of person doesn't exist, you're usually wrong, bro. I know you think because of your friend group, people can't be that evil or people can't be that dumb. People can't be that successful. People can't be that smart. But I'm telling you, there's all styles of people on this planet. And I'm telling you, some can be that dumb. It does feel a little fake because you want to believe no one's that dumb. I'm telling you, all type of people exist on this planet, bro. Um, I thought the same thing at first too. That's why I say that to be over the age of six years old and not understand the difference between magician and musician i'm just really not buying it and if that's the point to where this show was getting to where they're like manufacturing these awkward or uncomfortable moments to me why, that's why would why would she want that why would she want this moment to go viral everyone's gonna look at her and think one thing chat she's dumb I don't think nobody wants that to be their brand bro i can't imagine she wanted this clip to go viral i just can't Unless, like, she's one of them, like, uh, all publicity is good publicity types. And those archetypes exist, too. Not the best sign. Although this did go insanely viral. I mean, this one post has she got a bag. million. I know, but Bobby got a bag, too, and she didn't have to look dumb to do it. You feel me? Like, you don't think there's no way they could have faked some viral shit on this podcast that made them both not look dumb? Yes. If you were going to fake something, you could have faked a better thing that would make you look dumb. Right or wrong? million views and then she went on kiki palmer's show where she would straight up call her out on her industry plant activity what would you say to the people that feel like okay you're just capitalizing without concern if that's not who you are what would you say you are doing um just I, I don't think i was like capitalizing i think i was just like taking people who i thought were really amazing and just a little side note y'all notice how she changed her entire look after that offset interview after that man called her unseasoned chicken she had to slick the hair back i mean then there's always the industry plant gag i know You're not an industry plant, right? <laughs> i am but <laughs> so wait what is the um, industry plant to you I, I mean i don't truly like know well, i what is i feel like it means like i don't know i mean like 
the industry is like <laughs> you know what it is there's a reason yeah you, you know what the fuck the it is talent managers in the entire <laughs> world what do i think industry plan is it's like somebody that has been like that isn't is tied to someone else in the industry mm -hmm. and uses those connections okay to no no industry plans don't use their connections to succeed that's not what defines an industry plan they might do it but that's not how you define it an industry plan is a person the industry wants to succeed feel me Anyone with connections is going to use them to succeed. No matter if it's your fucking dad, your friend, if you can use them, you're going to use them. But an industry plant is one where it's like pushed upon us because they believe that that person has a high chance of success. That's different. Capitalize and they like have zero talent. Ooh. <laughs> Feel me? <laughs> it's more sense than what I thought it was, so. <laughs> I... She's like, that's good. That's all you think it is. What really happened is the devil came into my room one night. He made me sign a blood pact. Yeah, I don't have any ties, though. So I would love to have had ties. I feel like my life would have been a lot easier if I had ties. Don't have any ties. Yeah. She's like, bitch, your life is on easy mode. You're living on recruit difficulty. Well, you do feel kind of planned. Why the fuck is John Krasinski trending? So is this I know. Is what'd you say? What'd you say? Guilty. Well, you do feel kind of planty. We do have the same manager. So is this I know. Ooh. Isn't that crazy? It feels a bit planty. This is definitely planty. <laughs> you, like you got here in five minutes. It took me 20 years. I, I, hey, it has been a minute. It's just funny all these people are like, no, nah, you're not going to get away Damn. with that bullshit. I know how this game really works. And most recently, this was the reason that Bobby Damn. had gone viral, was that apparently her and her husband had filed for divorce after four years of marriage. With them also noting that they had split back in July of 2023, people also noticed that they made this announcement right after Drake's uh, little snake on a plane leaked out or that I think he straight up posted to the internet. I mean, she did miss her kid's first birthday to do that interview. And people also had a lot of criticism at the time for her being a married woman and asking Drake questions like this. Am I your type? Um... In, a, in a bed together? Oh, fuck no. Oh my God. Can you think of a worse fate? No glaze. I my hands are up, bro. No glaze. If your wife was in Drake's bed and asked him that question, you would panic. Okay? And that's facts. That's undeniable. You would, there's no need to assume. You already know what happened that night. And you just have to ask yourself, are you okay with that? That's it. Mm -hmm. Damn. I'd do it. Thank you. And also pretty much Damn. doing the same thing to Tyga. Would you date someone that looks like me? Because there's just a person. What does that mean? Like looks exactly like me. They have a twin. Maybe. If I had a twin, Maybe. would you date them? If she was like cool and like, you know. No, if she's I, exactly I, like me. And after that news went public, she would post this wow. up on her Instagram. As most of you heard, Corey and I filed for divorce. As sad as I am right now, I am thankful for the time I got to be his wife. Our girls are so lucky to have him as a father, and I am so lucky to be able to co-parent with such an incredible father in person. While our relationship did not work out as a husband and wife, we will always be friends, and I will always love him. So people were saying that she got the Drake snake, and then matters would only intensify yet. Yeah, bro, I seen this. This was bananas, bro. Yesterday when she dropped this sparring video with that man, Ryan Garcia. I show power without hurting. Oh my God, that hurt. Stop it. That hurt? Yeah, I feel like, can I put two of my hands together? <laughs> Don't do that. Can I put two of my hands together is crazy. <laughs> Ryan. Oh, Ryan, you know what you're doing, buddy. Hi. Oh my God. Do you, notice, do you notice I'm giving you angles though? Do you notice I'm giving you angles though? Is crazier. See, you're adjusting. Now I'm going this way. You understand the whole concept though? Yeah. To never let you like know what I'm doing. I just don't get why. And then I'm like this. Ah! And then I'm like this. <laughs> okay, I don't want to assume because it's none of my business, but if I had to. I think her newfound attention made her feel like she can do better on top of maybe her focusing more on work than other priorities. And I you know, say she just want to really experience all her options right now. And that's all this is. Bruh. That's all this is, bruh. I think a lot of people saw this clip and thought she just broke up with her husband.
And yeah, I saw the I saw the tweet saying they broke up in the summer, bro. So I'm not gonna lie, chat. You gotta have to pull it up because I think it's fine personally, bro. Eight months after your divorce, bro, is this outrageous? I personally think this this is fine. Eight months? Fuck is you like? You supposed to just not interact with niggas or some shit like that? I think three months might be a little crazy, but once you pass six, though. I, will, I didn't see nothing wrong with this, bro. I just thought this was promo for like an interview they was doing or some shit like that. Is it fine? Fuck no, yes. All right. All the friends I asked said it was crazy, so. <laughs> Everyone I asked about it was like, nah, that's outrageous. But I think eight months is like, bro, like that's eight months of your life, bro. That's almost a year. <laughs> nah, man. Play chasing her around the room. Divorce is just isn't just a breakup. Activity. I, I know. know her ex husband was mad seeing this shit. Where the fuck even are they? Dubai. I mean, that shit was almost like when you're back in elementary school watching your crush run around the playground with someone you don't like. Either way, I just wanted to provide you guys with this update today, seeing that it had been six months since we last talked about this. Do you think that this girl, Bobby, will continue to see success in her future, or do you think her 15 minutes of fame is running out? I want to know down below in the comments. I also want to thank you guys for watching today's video, dropping a like, and subscribing, but as you- Hey, Jamari. W video, brother. W video, man. W video, broski. Oh, so you like the video. <laughs> Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you're you're gonna like that one too, man. Go ahead, just. Bro, click the Yo, What that? Bro, that's what I be saying. Like,